All right, guys, the chin-up and the pull-up. Let's talk about it. Bands are a good way to go. So what is the difference between a chin-up and a pull-up? So simply put, a chin-up, for the most part, is supinated grip. Your elbows and shoulders track closer at shoulder extension or a neutral grip, same thing. Wide pronated is a pull-up. That's more shoulder adduction, a little more lat stimulus. The beauty of the supinated grip is, for the most part, people are stronger when they're closer to their body because they have a shorter moment arm, which we'll talk about in a second. So if you're having trouble with chin-ups, I always tell clients, get leaner and get stronger. It's a deadly combo if you want to create a good pull-up or a good chin-up. So the band. So now I'm 6'6". Six, six. So look, guys, I'm above this bar. So I'm going to have to flex my hip when I, I don't usually put my foot in a band. Sometimes I put my knee if needed. So I'm going to just show you with a flexed hip. I wouldn't expect you to do it. I would tell you to extend the hip and just stay tight in the glute and the abs. But having said that, you get the client or yourself in the band. Like I said, I'm just flexing because so, I'm too tall. I'm going to go supinated grip for one. So we come from a stretch position. Our shoulder blades are down and back. And I pull, chin over the bar, come back down. So that's one good chin up. If I want to do a pull up, wider grip, it's going to be a little harder. Extend, relax, stretch, and then pull, chin over the bar, come down slow, relax. So let's just say you get your three sets of six reps or whatever your goal is, whatever you can get. As time goes on and you get better and you want to progress your pull up and chin up, don't put your foot in the band, put your knee in the band. So now I'm going to get a lot less help here. Supinated grip, let your shoulder blades kind of relax, and now tighten everything up, chin over, and come down slow, controlled. Same thing for the pull up. As you progress and get better, you can use a smaller band. Also, as you start to get better, you kind of have to get rid of the bands or you're just going to stop progressing. I've seen it for decades. So what, what you can also do is tough, but pre preferably you have someone helping you. I'll have my clients grab the bar. I'll tell them to jump and I will assist them. I'll push them up. So they're not doing a pull up. They're going to do an eccentric pull up or an eccentric chin up meaning we're going to lengthen the lats, the brachialis, the biceps eccentrically in the lengthening portion, which helps make you stronger concentrically. So I'm just going to physically jump and pull, hold, and now I do a five, four, three, two. You got to be disciplined here. Slowly stretch and then start over. These are brutal. They create a little bit of soreness, but they'll get you good at chin-ups and pull-ups. Give it a shot, guys.